Hey, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, salutations to you, sincere Akim out there pushing the truth across the four corners of the earth. I am the brother Shaman of Great Millstone, Chicago. Uh, had a quick topic because I was talking to a brother over the phone um, over a certain scripture, and uh, he knew it, you know, going in, uh, basically uh, talks about, what was that, 1 Timothy 3 and 16, all right, with, 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 uh, where it says God, like like with, with, with the Lord's, Nick, one of the Lord's titles, Emmanuel, is God with us, but we know, despite that of course the father and the son are two different entities okay you have the heavenly father and you have his son who is lord over all but then we know the heavenly father him to be the 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 the, the, the you know the, the almighty father so to speak right? then you have Yahweh Shai who's the, the king of kings right basically and he's at the he's at the right hand of the father Right, we always bring this topic out because a lot of people get knocked, lost in the trinity uh, madness that's been laid out. Right, but I had just had a couple of scriptures, Lord willing, it's edifying. This is Romans 10 and 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord, Yahweh Shai, and shalt believe in thine heart that the Most High hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Right, we know out of the, the issues of death, ultimately belong to the Heavenly Father. And we know that he brought back his son, Yahweh Shai, from the dead. Right? The resurrection. So how could, how could the man, the, 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 excuse me, how could the Heavenly Father, if he's the son, right, how could he die? And then, well, he died and brought himself back? I just, it just, it just, you know, when you read the scriptures, it doesn't click. Right, that's why I said through that precepts, I get understanding. You know, you have to, you have to actually read through. And that's what a lot of Christians don't do. All right, that, therefore, they just take what somebody else says blindly and they just run with it. And with the scriptures, to have understanding, you can't do that. All right, blessed is he that readeth. I mean, it goes into blessed is he that understandeth. All right, I got another one for you. All right, John 14 and 9. It said, Yahweh Shai say unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me, Philip? He that hath seen me hath seen the Father, and how says thou then show us the Father? All right, we know the Lord, when Yahweh Shai was on the scene, he was perfect. And he came in the 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 the, uh, the likeness of his father. Right, the words he spoke were the words of his father. Matter of fact, he is the prophet. I'm gonna get that scripture next. He is the prophet that's mentioned uh, that all Israel is supposed to listen to. All right, and he's on the cross. He said, "What? My power, my power." Right, this is um let's see. I'm I'm driving. Right, doing a little in transit. But you gotta do that, man. Sometimes, you know, the lesson just jumps on you and you on the go. You gotta have your apps ready, you know, you gotta have all your stuff ready. You gotta be able to multitask. Verse 10, believest thou not that I am in the that I am in the Father and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he, do, he doeth the works. So wait a minute. He just said the, 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 the work, the, the what? I'm going to read that again. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. All right, so his Father that's in him. His father that's in him. I believe me that I am in the father 
and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Verily, very I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do shall he all he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. There you go. Uh, he, he had to go and, and be at the right hand of his father, at the heavenly father. Uh, and this is the scripture we were talking about. Um, which the brother knew it. You know, he just needed some clarification. First Timothy 3 and 16. And without controversy, great is the is the mystery of, of godliness. God was manifest in the spirit, in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto, unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. All right, and, and we know ultimately, hey, the scriptures say God, someplace, you know, it's talking about when it says gods, it says there'll be Lord's many, there are God's many. All right, when it says God, sometimes it's talking about the most high. It says God sometimes is talking about the Allahayim. Right, let us make man in our image. Talking about the Allahayim in certain spots. Hey, certain places where it says angels, where it says the angels that kept not their first estate. That's talking about um, the elect, right, which I pray to be of that, that number. Who were placed in chains of darkness. It's talking about the elect. All right, the Allahayim. Then it says... Um, it's another way it mentions some prophets in this. It says, Malachi, my angel. And we know uh, Malachi means his messenger. Right? The word angel means messenger. When you look up uh, apostle, one of the definitions uh, is the apostle is one who sent. And then uh, messenger pops up and then angel pops up. Right, so the scriptures is full of... Uh, Words that, that 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 represent other things. I um, what's another example uh, off the top of my head? Let me see. Oh yeah, Emmanuel. Isaiah 7 and 14. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. I, Emmanuel means God with us. God with us. And yes, the heavenly father sent his son. As he say he for God so loved the world, he sent his only begotten son. Didn't say he sent himself and put himself into the flesh. No, he sent his son, a, a, a different spirit than him. Because he's the father of spirits. Why would, come on, man. The heavenly father is omnipotent. He's all-knowing, he's all-powerful. Nobody can look on his face. All right. Um, yeah, then I looked it up. Emmanuel, Ima, Na, Wa, Allah. God with us or with us is God. Symbolic and prophetic name of the Messiah, the Hamashiach, the Messiah, prophesying that he would be born of a virgin and would be God with us. There you go. They, they, they got this part right. But I think uh, when they say God in the New Testament, you know, the word there is steals. I, um, and that's basically it, man. That's basically all I had. Just, just something quick. But that's what that's what it means to, to read in uh, in context. That's what it means to read in context. Oh, oh, what am I doing? Doing all I'm in 18. Gotta get that. Gotta finish with that.
Deuteronomy 18 and 18, I will raise them up a prophet from among their brethren. And the Lord raised up many prophets. But notice this prophet is capital. Hey, this is this is capital. Like unto thee, and will put my words in uh, his and will put my words in his mouth, and he shall speak unto them all that I shall command him. And it shall come to pass that whosoever will not hearken unto my words, which he shall speak in my name, and he's coming in the stead of his father. He's coming in the authority of his father. So he was he was placed uh, under under the he was placed under the angels. Right. So when he was put in the flesh, you know, he was in a lower state. He was put in the flesh. And the angels we know are celestial bodies. But it still says he could call uh, legions of angels that he, you know, he was still, he was still over those angels. He was still in command of those angels. Uh, it says, in this, hey, but the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name which I have not commanded him to speak or that shall speak in the name of other gods even that prophet shall die alright so when you're dealing with cause, cause uh, these wicked niggas in Islam they'll say uh, the, you know yeah, they'll say well Jesus was a prophet which the scriptures do say a prophet but nigga he was the prophet this is the messiah uh, the anointed. This is the, the this is the the, the what does it say the the the, first, the this is Adam coming back. I right, standing in his light. Who's gonna be over all in the kingdom of heaven? All right. Um, shit, it, it, the point was made. You know, the point was made. Don't have to go ramble on too much. All right, but that's what we do, man. The scriptures is all about context, context, context. Yes, uh, you know, yes, we know that they're all all one. They're all in agreement. All right, but they're not the same. They're not the same entity. All right, Shai and his father are not the same entity. Let's see, I think I got one more. Oh yeah, this is Hebrews two. Uh. And six, it says, but one in a, and that's another name for the Lord, by the way, the son of man. Right, but one in a certain place testifies saying, what is man that thou art mindful of him or the son of man that thou visitest him? Thou madest him a little lower than the angels. Thou crownest him with glory and honor and did set him over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things in subjection under his feet. For in that he put all in subjection under him, he left nothing that is not put under him. But now we see not yet all things put under him. But we see Yahweh Shai, who was made a little lower than the angels for the suffering of death. Come on, man. The, the heavenly father, he's, he's the eternal. He's there from the, from the beginning. Right? Yahweh Shai actually died. And it was brought back. Why would the eternal, the eternal power, the 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 uh, uh, Almighty, why would He allow Himself to die? Yeah, and it, you know, you could just go down the rabbit hole with that. With, when if He did that, you know, what I'm saying if He put Himself under, um, was it? Yeah, well, He made Himself a little lower than the angels. The angels are His messengers. <laughs> he sends the angels out to uh, uh, do his bidding and, 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 and uh, get his reports. So why the fuck would he? Um, excuse me. Why would he put his the, himself under his own messengers, under his own angels? Come on, man. That shit, you know. But of course, you have to have the the Holy Spirit. You have to have a certain level of understanding to understand the scriptures, anyway. But you know, it's just it could just be frustrating because we brought out these points and these details before, 
And you still have people who live their lives and they stand fast on them. Right? They got the little, it's just like a little symbol, you know, to be like a triangle. Oh, see, they're all the same. Yep, he was made, uh, verse 9, I'm going to start there. But we see Yahweh Shai, who was made a little lower than the angels from the suffering of death, crowned with gr glory and honor, <laughs> that he, by the grace of God, <laughs> he, by the grace of God, come on now, should taste death for every man. No, the, the Yahweh Shai was that perfect sacrifice. All right, by the grace of the Heavenly Father. For it became him for whom are all things and by whom are all things and bringing many sons unto glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through sufferings. All right, for both he that sanctified, man, I don't, I don't even have to read anymore. I don't even have to read anymore. Right, you still believe in this fable? You still believe in this stuff? Man, you know, there is not, there's no light in you. You know, how many examples do we have to come with? Hey, Yahweh Shai was prophesied all the way from the Old Testament. Not just Deuteronomy 18, but, you know, all the other uh, uh, precepts as well. All right, what does it say? Uh, he's going to be born, which, you know, another thing, too, the people who believe in the Trinity, of course, they believe in the virgin birth. I mean, of course, they believe in the in because a virgin did give birth, a young woman gave birth, but of course, they believe in the immaculate conception. So, if the heavenly, if the angel, which that even that, whew, if the angel dealt with Mary, and then that created the child, you know what? Did the angel create the heavenly father? Or was it the heavenly father who, who dealt with Mary and he created the child, but the child was also him? It's, it's confusion, man. And the Lord is not the author of confusion. All right? that, a lot of that stuff is, was uh, that Greek mythology being paired with the Bible. All right, where, you know, Zeus would deal with this woman and then the son was a demigod. And, uh, nah. Uh, and I was, uh, forget what, what the movie, I think it was just called Zeitgeist. They tried to break it down that way, which was incorrect. Right, but Lord willing, these scriptures are edifying. I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to y'all by Shimon Shai.